What's up guys, it's Anders, we are in FL Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we can move effects and whole effects chains around in FL Studio. If that is helpful to you, please bash the like button for me. Thank you very much. Let's get into it. And a big thanks to the channel sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a music distribution service and the best way to get your music out to all of the modern streaming services fast efficiently and within an independent artist's budget. Check out the description below for a discount today. All right, super, super simple to do these things in FL Studio. Just got to know what the things mean and where they are located. So first things first, let's say I've got a whole bunch of different vocal channels here. Oh wait, I've got a whole bunch of different vocal channels here. That's dead useful. Let's say I've done my settings in Neutron here and I've made, had to make a copy of the vocal and I want to put that same thing exactly as it is on another channel, but I don't want to save the preset, reload it, blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do, we go over to where it says Neutron 2. You the little drop down arrow we need to do save preset as but there's a magic trick if we click it hold it and drag it we can move a copy of neutron to whichever channel we want so i'm going to stick it on as two over here and as you can see boom it now lands over here an exact copy of what we already had easy mode super source perfect right okay Something else, let's say we've got a whole channel. Let's jump over to the breaks because that's got a whole bunch of stuff on. Cool. So we've got Gross Beat, Pro Q, and Neutron 2 all on the breaks channel. Well, let's say I want to copy that and use it on breaks in the future. Well, how do you do that? Because you can save individual presets, but you can't save a whole channel strip. Or can you? Yes, you can. There are two ways we can do it. Whichever channel is selected, like this, for example, we can go to this little arrow here. What I tend to do is I just right click on the channel and it gives us this menu. We're going to go to File. We are then going to go to Save Mixer Track State As. And it gives you this folder here. You've got Mixer Presets. For some reason, mine is empty. That's concerning. But we're going to call it Breaks for the time being. Drop that in there. And then, I don't know, let's just pretend my shaker is now my Breaks channel. Going to click on here. Going to do the right click. Going to go to File. Open Mixer Track State. And boom, there's my Breaks. Hit Open. And that's going to load my plugin chain. That, guys, is how you can move one plugin and its preset over to any channel in FL studio and save and move your plugin chains i now need to investigate where all mine have gone it seemed like it was in a weird folder named 2018 to be continued hope that was helpful for you guys i look forward to seeing you on the next one thank you for liking the video and subscribing to the channel